Yari Mati Latvala is the man with more starts in the WRC than any other driver. With 18 wins, he is also the most successful rally driver never to have won the championship. Factory drives for M Sport, Volkswagen and Toyota have seen Latvala compete at the very top of the sport for well over a decade. But 2020 was looking very different for Latvala, even before the onset of the coronavirus. We paid a visit to the Latvala Museum and Workshop to see how he's keeping himself busy. We are building historic rally cars, so I have three guys working for me. At the moment, at, at least we can build cars, which is nice that uh, we, have, we can do something. And as ever, brand loyalty is a big thing for Latvala. Toyota is the, is the brand and uh, now we are building a Toyota Celica ST185 X Marcus Kronholm Rally Thousand Lakes 1992 and the other car is X Mach Junson Celica ST165 X uh, uh, Rally Sweden, Swedish Rally 1992. The Celica ST165 is for my father. The 185 is here for my museum. But at the moment, what we do is we also make parts. So people, if, if they want some parts which is not available, we try to make them or I try to get them remanufactured somewhere. You know, you do the, you have a part, you do a 3D scan of it and then you try to machine it. Uh, with the, with the sort of meal or tri drilling machine. We wondered how Latvala might be planning for the future once his driving days are over. After my rally carry, I will have my own you know, company that I will build historic cars, uh, you know, like what Mil uh, Phil Mills has done. But OK, it came quicker than I was thinking. And, uh, and it being something that, of course, I've been still dreaming to drive in the World Rally Championship, but as, okay, we don't know this year what's going to happen if we have rallies. I mean, this was the idea that I would do at least two rallies. Latvala is still relatively young at 35 years old. So does he still see a future as a driver in the sport? I'm looking forward to the new regulation, what is coming in nine uh, in uh, in 22 because this kind of cars should should suit my driving style so sort of i hope i could be a couple of more years in the wrc but let's see i'm really happy with uh, with the, what, what i have created with toyota and uh, for sure my 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 passion is to start, try to stay as long as they are there i would like to stay work with them but then, of course, it's a question mark, is, is there uh, seats available for 22, then, but that, we, we have to see, uh, it's too, too early to say, and, uh, but, of course, like I, like I told, you know, it would be my dream to, to stay and drive again with, uh, with the Toyota. But why Toyota? What makes the Tommy Mackinnon run team so strong? I would say one of the biggest uh, strong points is the flexibility. I mean, you are sort of, you are able to, you don't need to have like a, uh, like a one plan that you, we have to follow this. Yeah, always you have a plan, but it's not that, I mean, if you have to do some um, quick uh, decisions and uh, you have to do something, you know, going away from the plan, so it doesn't, it doesn't disturb the actual plan. Uh, you can do these sort of movements. And, and this was a one strong point. And I think overall, the, it, it's a team. I, I think the, the Finnish mentality, uh, but we have, let's say, 50% of the people were from different countries. But I think in the bottom there is a Finnish mentality, which is, we are quite calm and, and come along together with all the people. And I think this is one strong point. For us, then the, the big support from Japan, that the commitment. You, if, you, if you have, imagine that you have a Toyota, Akio Toyota himself is so excited about the running. When you know your head guy of the whole big car manufacturer is supporting the rally program, you know you have the 
the support. And this is one of the most important things that the rally is not only seen as a marketing value, but there is really somebody behind it. Toyota is the first world rally team to base itself in Finland. And Latvala explains why it's taken so long for that to happen. In, in Finland, we don't have, we have a, you know, we have rallying uh, is a number two sport uh, in, the, in the country. Ice hockey is the number one. And, um, but we have never had a culture uh, and the education to educate uh, mechanics and engineers like you have in the UK or you have in France. We have been missing this and that's why we've never been able to really have a car manufacturer over here because we have been not doing any education but currently of course because the Toyota team came and, and, and was starting from Finland now this has changed now we have an education program where you educate engineers and mechanics so you in the future we, we can have like myself now in my workshop I have one uh, engineer uh, who is um, studying to be a rally engineer is um, working for me at the moment and uh, he's still one more year to go but he's practicing you know uh, in my in my works of building cars because I have said that the engineer as an engineer even though you are in charge of the car you don't need to necessarily always work yourself but the engineer himself has to know how the car is put together. With all his driving and engineering experience, would it be a surprise to see Yari Mati running his own team one day? I'm not thinking about that at the moment, but let's say it this way that if that opportunity would be there, yes, I would go for it. Uh, it would be nice to, you know, to run the team. But still, you know, in my mind, I'm in a position that I would like to still drive myself, but... Uh, but it's possible that, you know, I could run my own team in maybe in the future.